Good evening, teacher. Hello, Madeline. Hello. Good to see you. I'm glad to see you too. How are you this day? I am doing pretty good. Thank you very much. Okay. I like it so much. Nice, nice. Maddie, I, I, I think that every time I see your screen and I look at that welcome to class, it just brings a smile to me ah, all, yes. all the time. So every time yes. I see it, I, I always, it, you know, it's like, oh my God, that's so nice. You know what? I am going to start doing that. I'm going to put it right here, Madeline. I am going to ah. copy you. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. I yes i like to 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 stay always is uh, happy and because it's very important is um, to be happy and and, and try to to understand more and more and more all the time and i need to to speak english um and um, so quick i I have other cl other classmates. They are teachers, and they are sp they they are speaking fast. Okay. And I think I would like to speak uh, as well as as she as as they, no, as her. You know, and it's and that is a okay. Um, I took a test. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm going back a couple of years. Um, I used to think that my English was very, very good. And I took a test and in this test, they actually found a lot of little things that were wrong in the way I pronounced and in the way I enunciated my words and my sentence structure and you know, it's 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 eye opening because you have an idea of of you know maybe where you're at, but then you realize that you could learn more and you can keep on learning more and make yourself better and better and better. And if you always think like that, Madeline, I think that you will get to where you want to go. Thank you. And uh, when when will you send it? And, uh, and I I will no. When will you send it? When, like when when did I do it? When did I do the test? Yes, yes. I, I when... would say I would say maybe about two to three years ago. And the the uh -huh. test, the test was for they were changing one platform do you have you ever heard of versant let me i would like to see them to see it versant you know i i can probably try to get some examples now versant actually measures your english with english comprehension and so where i was working they were changing from versant to something else. I'm gonna ask Madeline and I'm gonna tell you the name tomorrow because I can't remember what the new what the new English test is called. But yes. I promise I promise I will get it for you tomorrow and I'll get Thank you the you. name. I do remember the old one that we were using, which was Versant. Have you ever heard of that? The Versant test? Mm, no, I no? didn't understand. Okay. I didn't understand. Okay. No, no. Um, so I, I put it down in the chat so that you can see, you know, what it was called. And then the other one, I don't know the name. So I'm going to get you that one tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Let me see. Who do we have on here? We already gave a warm welcome to Madeline. Jose, hello. Welcome to class. Rafa, you had been here for for quite some minutes. Welcome, Rafa. Uh, Jarvin, hello. Vanessa, hello. Uh, Delmi, hello. Delmi, hello. Welcome. Hello and welcome. Como es? Hello and welcome. Hello. 
como que soy aeromoso, ¿verdad? Muy buenas tardes. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? How was your day? How is your day going? My day was very happy. It was very good. Nice. Nice to hear, man. I, I like that. I like that. I had a happy day. I like that. Who else? My but, student. Nice. Beautiful. That's the way, you know, I, I think that it has to be that way. You have to... O sea, ¿se imaginan si yo estuviera así todo, todo, todo enojado, todo? What, what else can we say? Is there anything else that we can say? No, enojado, aburrido. You know that without energy, I think that, you know, it takes away from the class. So I'm happy to hear that, Madeline. Vanessa, how was your day? Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, it was a very busy day. Because... Oh, nice. I am in the middle of my um, close of the month in my work. Ooh, okay. So it was very busy, very difficult with a lot of things. Yesterday the same because I, that's why I didn't come to the class because I was working. So a little tired. <laughs> okay. Remember, and, remember. And she accounted right accounting no i think it's was it an accounting vanessa uh, kind of it's payments okay it, we yeah. impact a lot with that accounting thing so. all right okay interesting. Interesting. nice nice to hear vanessa welcome back bah, nice having you back a ver delmi delmi me aparece aquí tell me how was your day my day was pretty good it was kind of busy also. I was doing some stuff at work and also I, I live in Metapan, but I went to Santana and then come back to Metapan. Oh, then okay. I went to visit my mother and then I was here waiting for the class. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for that, Delby. All right. Jarvin, hello, my friend. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How was your day today, Jarvin? <laughs> Uh, in my job was a busy day. I have a lot of things to do, but right now I am at home. I am with my family. I am drinking coffee. I am so good. Drinking coffee at 9 p.m. Oh my goodness, Jarvin, you're a yes. rebel. That's that's <laughs> rebellious. No, it's I good drink. to try to drink. You know, I, when I was younger, I could do that. I could drink coffee at any time and it was okay. But now I drink a cup of coffee and forget it. You know, it's, I know. that's it. I'm, you know, my little heart feels like it's going to stop too much coffee. All right. Good to hear. Good to hear, Jarvin. I used to drink coffee after the class to share. Re really? After the oh, class. my goodness. That's. And I well, don't yeah. have problems to sleep. You have no way. No, as a matter of fact, no. si no me lo tomo, no duermo. ¿Cómo es, Vanessa? Oh, my goodness. You guys. Yeah. That's, that's, that's rebellious. It's very necessary. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very rebellious. All right. Well, that's good to hear, you know, especially because, you know, here in El Salvador, I think we need more coffee lovers, right? coffee lovers. Jose, are you back? Can you hear me okay? Would you be able to share how was your day? Did you share? No, I don't think you shared. Not yet. Jose, Joe. It's good evening. Good evening. It's so windy here. Internet is bad. <laughs> I, you know, it's. It, I was. I, I with the previous class. I was saying how cold it was today. How cold it is. I was even gonna wear a a scarf, una bufanda, but I didn't want you guys to make fun of me. So I have. Who had who had a bufanda? Madeline. Madeline tiene bufanda. The scarf. Yes, I have. You have the scarf. 
Yes, I need, I need a scarf. Oh. There you go, yeah. I, I, is, it, not in, is that orange? Is that an orange it's one? It's orange, now? it's orange. Okay. It's orange. So mm -hmm. I, have, I have a red one and I have a black one. And I said, well, if I wear the black one, I'm gonna look like, eh, como se llama el malo de los minions? El gru. And so I, I was like, no, I'm not gonna wear that one. And then I didn't wanna wear the red one because it was like too Chris, you know, too Christmassy. You guys were gonna tell me, pero teacher, ya pasó Christmas, que pasa? And so I was like, no, you know, I'm not gonna do that. But, but yes, it's been really cold. Okay, uh, let me see here. Raf, Rafael. Oh, I'm sorry, Jose, Jose, how was your day? How was your day, Jose? You said no internet because it was windy. Yeah, I was in the park a few, a few hours ago mm -hmm. and, the, and the wind uh, pulled out a tree and the tree hit uh, two women. Oh, yeah. oh my uh, well, that's very choking because she yeah. was so bleeding a lot oh. and the police take her to the hospital. Yeah, that's windy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, it, it happens. It happens, Jose. It happens. How about Rafael, yeah. my friend, Rafael? How was your day? He's in. He's in. Uh, I, I think I think he might also be having. Rafael, that's okay. You can you can type it up, or if you come if you can come in with the audio. You will will ask you again. All right, happy to be here. Happy to be here with you guys. Um, I'm a little bit happier today because it's a little bit cold. So you know, te puedes arropar and you know get a little bit warmer. So it makes it feel nice. La chumpa, esa chumpa vieja que, que tenés ahí por, that you've had there for a long time. Your jacket, you can bring it out and you can wear it. The old sweater, right? You can also bring that out and put it on and it's okay. La gente no se te queda viendo como que si estás loco. So it's pretty nice. Teacher, All right. In front of me is the garden. And I am cold. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. Madeline, is it windy? where you live it's windy it's, it's windy, windy here okay it's All windy right. san marcos is windy we're so san, far well so. San, san marcos is cold even when it's not so windy so i could just cold, imagine always, today. always always nice. it's cold oh yeah but right now is is the best right now is the best the best and yeah what? especially because we could wear our scarves yeah yeah <laughs> I need it. Um, all right. All right. We're going to start sharing. Here you go. Here's my sharing screen. We share everything here. Let me go ahead and put it here. And we have been working on our website. Here you go. How are you guys doing with the sections and the modules? Hi, Fabiola. Hello. Welcome. How are you guys doing with section one? Have you guys been able to go in there and get a couple of those little check marks? Teacher, in my case, I couldn't enter to the platform. I have oh. been having problems and I already sent a message but they didn't answer me so Nobody I haven't study. do me a huge favor are, are you in the whatsapp are you in whatsapp yes. could you do me a huge favor can you please send me a direct message oh, and, yes, we're, I can. and we're going to forward that to our IT department they're, they're okay. really good at, at helping out okay, so we're, we're going to say after the class Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, we can everybody see my screen? Yes, I see. Yeah. You. Okay. Good. Yes, good. I see. Fantastic. So yes, this is where we left off. 
we were in the listening exercise 1.12. Uh, Luis, hello, welcome. David, I see you guys are joining. Thank you so much, welcome. And so what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back all the way to the beginning, to the intro video. And then we're gonna kind of go through section one as a review. And you guys can just kind of follow along. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. And so section one starts off with an intro video. In order for you to get a little green check mark for this one, you have to watch the video completely. And as you guys can see, it's four minutes and 30 seconds. So if you guys are planning on starting it, make sure you guys complete it. Four minutes, 30 seconds. What you guys can do is you can speed, you can double the speed and you'll have it finished in two minutes and 15 seconds. Ah, oh, que matemático viene el teacher hoy va. Mm. All right. And so, but you guys have to complete it. As you guys see here, I haven't completed. I didn't watch it. So I didn't get my little check mark, right? I am going to have to go back and review it and watch the whole video. Okay. And then, so once you guys watch the video, we start the modules with the lesson objective in 1.0 and then we talk about the conversation and what they're going to talk about is clauses different clauses and this one starts off with a video which is called i was really immature and the video is very short i would say maybe maybe 15 seconds at the most you look at it real quick and then you click on next. You start looking at subordination conjunctions or I'm sorry, subordinating conjunctions. And for this one, we talk about time clauses using the same video. Iris, hello, hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Thank good you. evening. And so we watch the video. This one is also about a minute long. We go into the knowledge check, which this one that I still haven't received an answer for. And that's why I haven't told you guys to complete it. If, if worst case scenario, if we don't get an answer, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna send you guys some screenshots of these questions individually so that you guys can fill them out because the, it it feels like there's there's like a video that needs to be watched so um, ojo con esta we still have this week and hopefully after this week we are able to get it fixed there's a listening exercise that we completed which is three people describing important events in their lives and we did this exercise together so if you guys haven't done it if you guys have not completed section 1.5 which is the listening exercise then you guys can take a quick look at it and as you guys can see we have sally sally's really happy because she learned spanish we have henry and henry he and his brother went to different colleges we have debbie uh, she was a top student in her class. And then we have part two. How did Sally feel about learning Spanish? She was really proud. Henry became more confident and independent because they went separate ways. And Debbie became a lot more outgoing. Okay. And that's how we have it. And we have next. 1.6 lesson objective, adjectives, but the adjectives were focusing on behavior and personality. So the video for this one actually did the same thing. How did you behave was the big question. How did you behave when you were a teen? How did you behave when you were in your 20s? <clears throat> and how do you behave now? complete the video and so far we're at 1.7 1.8 1 
is just the lesson objective. And as you guys can see, we're just clicking on next and watching the videos. We did this one, which was expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Do you guys remember this exercise? Regrets, what do you regret? What would be some hypothetical yeah. situations? Yeah, all right. Yes, we remember this. Nice, nice, okay. And then we had the knowledge check, which is 1.10. Sorry guys, my mouse goes crazy. And what we did with this exercise is we unscrambled. We provided a sentence that was scrambled and then it was our job to unscramble it. And these had to do with regrets or hypothetical situations. If somebody still hasn't completed it, please let me know. And then that way we can resend it. I think somebody asked on the WhatsApp. This one would be exercise 1.10, knowledge check. If you guys need this on WhatsApp, please let me know. And I'll try to get a couple of screenshots and send it out your way. Now it does leave some of it cut off. So for example, if I do the first portion and then take a picture, you guys see that? I can scroll to the other side to try to get everything else, but then you know the first portion gets missed. So more than likely, I'm gonna to have to take two pictures of each of these so that we can get the full sentence, okay? 1.10 knowledge check and the reduction or reducing have and been. We did a couple of exercises with that. We had the listening exercise and I believe this one we left off. We didn't get to complete. Did we complete this one or we left it for homework? No, we didn't get this far, right? I don't remember Ji Shun. I don't remember that. So what we can do is we can listen to it and we can answer it as a group. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead. I don't remember if I did the sharing with the, let me go ahead and undo it. And then let me do it once more. Okay. Yeah. I had already said it. Just double checking. Okay. So here we go, guys. This is the listening exercise. This one is for 1.11. I'm sorry, 1.12 listening exercise. Here we go. Oh, no, the hand there. Yeah. Page 76. Exercise 11. Listening. Regrets. Part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean... You can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. 
Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. Love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. All right, all right. All right, so we played it twice. Let's see, Barbara. What's up? Didn't take typing class in high school. Didn't take typing classes in high school. All right. How many of you guys know how to type really well? Hello, teacher. Max, welcome aboard. I was going to say welcome aboard. Thank you for... Max, do you know how to type really okay, well? Okay, I can type. Yeah, I learned by myself nice. three years ago, I believe. Nice. I'm, I'm not a professional, but I can type 30 words per minute. Oh, nice. Now, uh, 30 words per minute? That, they say that that's, that's like the average, right, Max? Yeah. Okay, okay. I've been working in the call center industry for a really long time. And that is one thing that I have not learned how to do yet. Um, I think I do maybe 20, 25 words per minute. Um, and that's because this year I started to put a little bit more practice, Max, because before that I used to pick a pollo on, on the keyboard, right? And it was really <laughs> well, hard. I learned by using some software. Oh, um, okay. All right. I, I, I used to do pick up audio, but I learned it. I learned the complete keyboard in like five hours, I believe. Okay. You, and then you, you just got to, then you just got to practice and you get faster and faster. All right. You know what? I think that one of the issues for me was that I, I was using cell phones and so I'm really good with my thumbs, right? But when I would go into a keyboard, I, I wouldn't find the keys the same way. So, so you know, hey, it's a work in progress. All right, besides Max, anybody else know how to type really well? I type uh, so fast because I was in the era when internet came to a suburb. Okay. And the chat was um, the moda. So I was start typing the chat and the conversation to create, to write so fast. That helped me a lot. Was that <laughs> el messenger, el hi-fi? Yeah, I was <laughs> using all, right. all that. <laughs> all right, nice. And that helped me to type so fast. Yeah, yeah, I could imagine. All right, anybody else? Max, we got Max, we have Jose. 
I, Who else? I type very fast, but I I I learn for my own way. I myself okay. and I don't use all uh, fingers. Only six fingers, but I'm very fast. Okay, <laughs> I don't all know right. How. Well, you know, as long as I you get the job done. Finger. I use all my fingers. You yeah, use you use I, all I of them. I use the 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 little fingers. <laughs> And the thumbs, <laughs> and I I can use uh, very well the uh, consumer. Okay, all oh, right. Geez. Okay, Madeline, Madeline, you use all your to fingers. To the account, yeah. For the, oh, that's right, the number yes, pad. Yes, I, I use all my fingers. I, yes, I type it, <laughs> typing so I type it fast. I type it. Madeline, but uh, type, type hello, Madeline. I, I type it so fast. Madeline, I, I can, I can. Do you know how many words per minute? Um, yes. Yes, I know. I'm 60. Oh, 60. that's, well, yeah. Oh my yes. God. That's pretty fast, man. I was working. I was working in mail, uh, in, um, documents. I was working. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That is pretty fast, without, man. Okay. Without see the test, without see, I, so, I don't see, I don't see the test. Sueño con ese día, Madeline. Sueño con <laughs> sueño when you know one the teacher. Ustedes van a ver que voy a estar typeando y, y lo voy a voltear a ver a ustedes. And I want to keep typing. And <laughs> nice, nice. All right, all right. Moving along to That's Alex. Sixty words. See, eighty, eighty words. No, Madeline, did you say sixty or eighty? No. 60. 60. Okay. All right, Madden. That's like Jim Carrey and Bruce Almighty. Yeah, when he's typing. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving, moving to Alex. What happened with Alex? Stop exercising. Stop. 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 Any of you going to the gym mm -hmm. and due to COVID-19, did you guys stop exercising? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No? Solo yo. Porque no. yo antes era Mr. Músculo, pero este COVID-19 <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> really messed me up. I have a, I have a bad experience on that. Because on March 12th, I, I make a trip to Chile. Okay. And they closed the airport. I was three months trapped on it. Oh, and my God. The law of Chile. Oh. <laughs> wow. You have wow. to, to Chile. go into the internet and um, be um, just for tourists for one week. And one week turning three months. <laughs> Who was oh in Chile? God. Who was? Who was? Yeah. Jose. Oh, congratulations! Well, well, when uh, were you in that in that country? In that yeah, country. Yeah, uh, um, they are very um, how to say. Ellos exigen mucho que uno no puede salir porque tiene que pedir permiso por medio de la internet y solo me daban dos permisos, uno para ir al banco y uno para ir al supermercado. Así que pasé tres meses en un apartamento. Oh in Santiago, in Santiago, in, in Santiago, in That's Santiago, San, Chile. Sana, Sana, San Miguel. I was there. I was there in oh. 1992. I was there. Madeline uh, in 1992. Country. Yes, <laughs> wonderful country. That's, yeah, the weather is so cold. <laughs> In winter, I could imagine. I see, you know, I ha I get a channel here in my house. I get a channel which is TV Chile, and every time they come out, like when they show people outside, they always have like these really big jackets with the scarves, and yes. they look yes. like they're cold. Yes, I use oh, <laughs> I, was I, in Sabado, I was in Sabado Gigante program. Oh my goodness, man! Oh, with Don Francisco. Don Francisco, yeah, I love I Don Francisco. There. I was there. <laughs> That's nice. 
All right. Well, Jose, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Okay. And then we go to number three. We're, we're Jishun. They say, Yo, como Did I learn to play the guitar as a kid? Didn't, as a kid. As a kid. As a kid. Didn't learn to play the Didn't guitar. Didn't learn to play the guitar as a kid. Okay. As a kid. Um, I wanted to show you guys. Let me see. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on. I, you know, I, I, you, I always used to ask my kids if they wanted to play an instrument and then I just stopped asking and then I saw this program where you know the parents actually bring the toys in and like the different stuff and so let me show you guys hold on hold on let me show you guys I'm gonna put the video out so well no no I think I think hold on let me see if I can reach it from here give me one second Look at so this is what I started doing. This is what I started doing. I started. I, I said, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I want my kid to actually make the choice whether he likes it or not. And and so I bought my little kid a little guitar, and it's just the funniest, Aww. craziest, cutest thing ever. It's so cute. And, <laughs> and now I want to learn to play the guitar. <laughs> of course, it's not gonna happen, but yeah. <laughs> Next time you guys see your teacher, teacher is the teacher Rafael yes. your brother? Is Rafael Rodriguez. Yes, because he, no. he, can, he can play guitar too. Rafael Rodriguez. Yes. He's, he's um, actually a really good friend of mine that I met within the call center environment a long time ago. He's a good teacher. He's he's really good. He was running for um, I think he was trying to run for diputado. He got my oh. vote. He got my vote. You know, he's a friend, you know. A ver que me da. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Te imaginas oh. 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 Una plaza fantasma. <laughs> mira, mira, y el teacher que hace nada, nada, pero le pagan. I'll take it. All right, all right, ladies Hasta and gentlemen. Hasta le manda a sus alumnos. Ta. <laughs> buena esa, buena esa. ¿Cómo es? Uh, ¿Cuánto necesita? Sí, ahí, ahí va, ahí va. All right, ladies and gentlemen, vamos aquí con el submit button. How do you guys feel about these answers? How is the level of confidence? High, low, medium, How do you feel? Hi. Hi. All right. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Well done. Yes. All is good. Well done. All is good. Yes. That would be 100% on this one. All right. Let me go ahead and click next. And that means 1.12. If I'm not mistaken, that is it. We move into section number two. Uh -huh. We start off with the intro video, and I'm going to leave this one for you guys so you guys can watch it on your own, and we start with 2.0, <coughs> and here we come back to clauses. In this particular case, we're going to look at infinite, in, I'm sorry, infinitive clauses, and that's what we're going to start and we have a little video for you guys describing purpose, okay? So here we go. I'm playing the video and then we're gonna discuss it, okay? Three, two, one, video, go. Oh my goodness, I, I'm sorry, I forgot the... So Sorry say about that. and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, 
It's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with for. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. All right. Ready? So Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Mm -hmm. So stay and learn how. Okay. This is what we're going to discuss. What is the only thing I need to make an infinitive? Add two. That's it. Two. That's it. The T and the O. You got it. That's it. So even though there's an explanation of the clause and even though there's the rules that you have to follow on how to format your phrase, really all you need to do is add the word to. And I put it down in the chat, right? Because you can start it off and say to run a popular internet cafe and that's it. You have done and you have completed the infinitive clause you can make it a little bit better by adding something before, like in order to establish a trendy restaurant, then you can change it. So, but in reality, the only words that you need are the T as in Tom and the O as in Oscar, two. And that Peter, is what we, I have yes, a question. yes, Madeline. Uh, in in which case do you use uh, in order to or or for? But well, the two two words is the same the meaning. Right. That's that's exactly so. So you could you could leave. So let's look at this sentence here, Madeline. The one that we have. It says to establish a trendy restaurant. You see how if you leave it like that you still get the idea of what you're trying to say. To establish a trendy restaurant, uh-huh, it's important to have a fashionable server. And so you could leave it like this, or you can provide specifics. And so if you want to give more information, you can add something like in order to establish a trendy restaurant, it is important to have fashionable service. So what happens is you're making your sentence a lot clearer, but, but you don't have to put it. This one here is optional. In both cases, Madeline, you can either use it to provide more information or you can leave it out and the sentence will still be okay porque allí está en medio, allí está el tú. Siempre yes. cuando... Teacher. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Teacher, when I say uh, 
I explain this in order to you improve. It's okay? That is, yes, yes, that is okay. Thank now, Thank now, in that particular sentence, Madeline, you cannot leave in order out because you are saying something before it. And if you take out in order, it might not make so much, you know, it might not make uh, so much uh, logic. So the way that you said it, that is the correct way. Okay. Okay. So, so just keep that in mind. So you could, you could go with just having two and then say to establish a trendy restaurant it's important to have a fashionable server. It kind of, you know, it keeps going. Now, you can use four because it, it is an infinitive. Now, four is a little bit harder to use and it's not that common. I would say whenever you guys hear infinitive clauses, it will more than likely always be two. This is what we use the most. However, if, if we if we use four, we have to use. I don't know. It sounds like I have to say, for having, okay, a trending cafe or something like that. Oh. Well, eventually you're gonna have to. You, you are going, uh, and I'm sorry, I keep saying Ghana. You guys don't say it like that. I, I use say, it. Yeah, everybody I, use it like that. Don't say Ghana. All right, say going to. <laughs> All right, so um, you see how here you have four at the beginning, and then you start off with for an athletic center. Now you have to use two again. So what's going to happen is every time you guys use four, you will also have to use two. So you're using two infinitives to be able to give pretty much the same sentence. Now, you can also add the in order. Once again, you could say in order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. Now, but you guys see how you have to go, you're going to have to add in order, you have to add four, and then you have to add two again anyways. So that's, that's the thing, right? If you guys choose to just use two, then you don't have to use in order or you don't have to use four. You could leave it just like that and it will make perfect sense. However, you can add the portion that says in order and you can add the portion that says four. It just depends on how you wanna use it, but the more clauses you're trying to use, you see how the words keep getting longer and the phrase keeps getting longer and it provides more explanation and more explanation. And so that's usually what, you, which, what you're going to have to think about when you guys are talking about a sentence or when you guys are putting a phrase together, how much do I want to explain on that sentence? And what is it that I want to use? Because if you just start off with two, then it's very short. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. And then that's it, right? And it gets a little bit longer if you want to include anything else. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have a fashionable server. Now, you can also use in order on the first one. In order to run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours, okay? So the key piece of information here is how do you want to start your sentence? And you can do it both ways. You can say two, or you can start it with four. And both ways will work. The only thing is that if you use four, you are going to have to include two as well in the same phrase, 
in order for it to make sense. All right, so to run a popular internet cafe or in order to establish a trendy restaurant, you can say those for two, or you can use four for an athletic center to be profitable, or you can say in order for a shopping mall to succeed and they will work and they will make perfect sense. Well, at the end, I believe it's just a matter of personal choice if you That's, want to use two. Yes. If you, you want to use in order to, it sounds a little bit more fancy. It does. It does. It, sound, it sounds better. And usually, I don't know if you've noticed, Max, but you've made a great point. The more words you find on a sentence or a phrase, usually we have a tendency to think that it's fancier, fancy talk. They, they say, oh, that's fancy talk. And all it means is that it's really long, right? Instead of just saying, yes, this is what I like, you know, you, you add a whole bunch of things to it and make it sound really fancy, okay? So yeah, I, I, I agree with you, okay. Max. All right, so with that in mind, we move into the knowledge check, okay? And this is the first knowledge check that we find, which is 2.2. .2. Now, what do we have to do? We have to match each goal with a suggestion. For a health club to attract new people, and then let's look at what we have. It has to offer the latest type of last equipment. types of equipment. It has to offer the latest types of equipment. Yes. Yes. That one, it has to offer the latest types of equipment. Okay. So let's read that out. For a health club to attract new people, it has to offer the latest types of equipment. How does that sound? Uh, we are. Sounds not not one hundred percent good. A health club. No. But you no, know, I don't know what. I, um, well, I don't really know club? what this uh, health club. I, you know, I think they're using health club so that they don't say gym. Yeah. Because gym is or, like uh, a gym. fitness. You're right. Like a fitness center. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a health club. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, then it makes sense. Then it does, right? Yeah. Now that we discuss. Okay. All right. So let's try number two. Let's see here. In order to run a profitable restaurant, what do we need? You need to you hire need to a talented, hire a talented, talented chef. A talented, let's see, chef. let's read. That. In order to run a profitable restaurant, you need to hire a talented chef. Yo quiero poner una pupusería. ¿Qué necesito? Chef. A talented pupusera. Talented una, pupusera. Una, una <laughs> talented pupusera. Yeah. All right. I like that one. To establish pupuseras. All right. Let's see. Number three. To establish. Mom, don't go. Mom, don't go. To establish a successful new go. dance club. Oh, look at. Look at number three. A new dance club. It needs to have a great music and dance light. Club. Lighting. It's need to have lighting. great music mm -hmm. and lighting. Mm -hmm. Porque no vamos a no vamos a Willy no vamos a no vamos al Willy porque está ahí, verdad? Vamos por la música. No. Sing a song. That's it. Yeah. Right. Only only for that. Only for that. Only. All right. Uh, number four. For a coffee bar to succeed, what do we need? Coffee bar. To succeed, it's a good idea to offer it's good desserts. Idea to yes, offer desserts too. You want to drink a piece of coffee? Uh, I'm sorry. Dessert. You want to drink a cup of coffee? You need dessert. All right. Nosotros decimos pan dulce, pero pan dulce no existe en inglés. Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> 
So you I can either say, milk. well, there's bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. bread. <laughs> there is no such thing as sweet bread. <laughs> you sugar can baby. say, yeah, sugar baby. <laughs> you can say pastries or you can say desserts. Desserts. Wow. Desserts. Desserts. Dessert or desserts. Desserts. Or, or, I like or pastries. Remember, pastries. Pastries. Pastries, pastries. or desserts. See. And do you spell Can you that? type in the chat? A ver, sweet please. bread does not exist. No sweet, sweet bread. bread. No, sweet bread. In the case of dessert, pastries. Pastries. Yes, really. Pastries. 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 And then, like you know. Like a cake? Like well, a cake. Well, the thing is that the cake, a piece of cake, cake. would fall under the title of dessert. Dessert. Cheesecake, uh, uh, devil cake, uh, chocolate cake, cherry cake, any of those. Apple pie. Apple pie. It, it, it falls under desserts. Okay. Okay. All lettuce, right. Lettuce. With lettuce? The... Brownie is the dessert. The brown, brownie is a dessert. Uh -huh. Brownie is a dessert. Mm -hmm. Madeline, mm -hmm. where, is that is that lettuce? Como lechuga? Lettuce? 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 Yeah, lettuce. No, With I... Tomato and dessert is dessert. I, I, I read in the magazine uh, dessert. Um, you can have tomato. tomatoes for dessert? I'm... I think you probably Maybe. could. I could do it, Madeline. I could eat tomatoes for dessert. With a I little bit of, them, but I, I read this. With a little it's bit of lettuce? Seen. It's not that bad. Hmm. Hey, teacher. No. Teacher. Yes. Sweet bread. About Como dessert. Entrada. Is there, I mean, is there a, a difference between the spellings of dessert and the place dessert? Uh, yeah, yes, there, there's one less S. Okay, and the pronunciation? Uh, desert. Desert and dessert. And the dessert. And dessert, yeah. Dessert. And then the, there, there's another one uh, when you when you are deserted. There's another one. Deserted. It is yeah. a verb. Cuando, te, cuando te abandonaron. Si te, si te han abandonado, you have been deserted. Mm -hmm. Deserted. So, so those those you can say desert, deserted. They they pretty much sound the same. But Maybe. the sweet stuff, dessert, has a little bit more dessert sound dessert. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dessert. All right, all right. Dessert. Number five. Let, let's go to number five. Dessert. I think we're almost we're running out of time. Look for it. Look, look for it. Look for it, Madeline, and put it in WhatsApp. Give it to me in WhatsApp. I will be waiting all night, Madeline. All night. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está, Madeline? ¿Dónde está? Ya te voy a pasar, miren. Yes. All right, so number five. In order for a magazine to succeed, what do we need? It has to provide useful information. It has to provide useful information. Useful information. Mm -hmm. It has to provide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, 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 in that Playboy magazine that people tell me that they Is read, it? there's a bunch of stories that are like so nice. <laughs> a bunch of stories. And the Playboy. On, only useful. For, on, only for you read them? Useful information. <laughs> useful information. There he is. Yeah, sure. All right, number six. To run a successful <laughs> clothing boutique. <laughs> boutique. You need to keep, you need up, to keep with the late, up latest with the latest styles. No, oh, you need to keep up with styles. the latest styles. Styles. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. my God. 100%. Yeah. Well done. This well done. Is, well done. Yeah. Oh, correct. Oh, you did such well a great done. job. You guys did such a great job that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys back two minutes. Well, one minute now. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. I am waiting for you guys already tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and see you guys. Good Take care, everybody. It's okay. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Bye -bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for my message. <laughs> okay, yes. Teacher, don't forget it. 
I will <laughs> not. <laughs> and information. Yes, Madeline, please remind me on WhatsApp. Please, please say, teacher, don't forget about me. Okay. 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 Right Thank now. You. Okay. Thank you. Yes, right Thank now, you. Madeline. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night.